Alright folks, today I'm gonna show you how to make this reversed seared bison steak. It's time to grill! So, the main actor or the main actors of today's event are two awesome looking bison ribeye steaks. I got them from gourmetfleisch.de, my favorite online shop when it comes to steaks and stuff. And so these bison steaks are 250 grams and we have two of them and they have a really nice um, fat eye in the middle. Normally bison has less fake than, uh, less fake, sorry, less fat than beef. So these are, this is, this is how they look like. So actually nice color, nice fat and we're gonna grill this on the GMG. Daniel Boone today, I'm gonna show you how to um, configure this grill for reverse searing steaks. And all you have to do is take some grill grates. So grill grates are available as additional equipment for the GMG. Grill grates are also available for additional equipment for most of the other grills. Many, many grills possible, the cob, the Weber kettle, um, a lot of grills possible to go anywhere, I know that. And of course these are available also for the GMG Daniel Boone, the Davy Crockett and the Jim Bowie grill. So and um, now we use the technique of reverse searing with that pellet grill which is actually quite easy because as soon as you start uh, firing up the grill we can bring the temperature on and th there will be uh, 65 degrees Celsius in the grill and so we can start with adding uh, the rib eyes to the grates uh, from the early beginning of that starting uh, phase for that grill and we just let them stay in there with 65 degrees um, grill temperature until they have reached an internal temperature of 50 degrees which is right now here and all we have to do now is take them out of the grill. We're gonna put this in aluminium foil and in the meantime um, they will rest in the aluminium foil. We will then fire up the grill to highest temperature possible which is 260 degrees Celsius and then we let uh, the grill grates will heat up soon and then we're gonna give the crust and the grill grates. Then we have the perfect technique of reversed searing. So take these, we're gonna put them into aluminium foil. There was a big discussion in Germany about the usage of aluminium foil and food. Yeah, everyone can do this uh, like, he want, like he wants. I'm doing this today with the aluminium foil. So I've let the temperature control in there so we can check the temperature after resting and now as I mentioned heating up till 260 degrees Celsius and let that heat up for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes you will be able to grill your bison steaks on direct heat with the grill grates. They will have a nice grill mark, so grill grates really give the best grill marks. A lot of cool um, people are using these. I really like the idea. So during the um, Heating up of the grill, the temperature of the steaks fell to 47 degrees. So you have to think on how long should we grill these. So this is uh, now my gut feeling. We're gonna grill these, I don't know, one and a half, two minutes per side. We're gonna make some 90 degrees turns and we're gonna give them a turn later on. So we have some nice looking uh, grill marks on both sides and a little bit of a crust. But depending on the um, time you let them rest while the grill heats up, that's the time you uh, have to check and then you know how long you should grill these bison steaks. So really nice color. I really like the idea. They now have some f smoke flavor due to the starting phase of the GMG grill. and. Yeah, just some couple of seconds more and we're gonna give this a shot. These actually look pretty, pretty good. We are headed for a medium to medium rare. 
but of course if you are grilling steaks for a larger amount of viewers and your audience you will never met uh, any individual uh, taste so that's what we are looking for almost ready to take them out now just the final press with your finger okay yeah for me these are great right now we're gonna take them out let them rest for five minutes or so and then we cut and see how it is so I'm really happy with the results here it has a nice crust uh, I almost forgot to add salt before putting that on direct heat next time I will do uh, it might improve the crust a little bit more but this is uh, for me close to perfect uh, reversed seared steak so juicy tender really really good i'm gonna give this a shot right now i'm gonna add some spices here and arrange this one for a photo on instagram oh yeah uh, talking about instagram if you're not an instagram follower of o at 15 barbecue please um change that and visit my instagram channel we have a lot of cool things coming up there as well so so far for today adding some jack and smoke seasoning here for the final footage I'm gonna give this a shot right now please make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet if you have ever tried bison steak that's my first time please um, leave me a comment you can leave me a comment anyway please hit that like button we're seeing us again in the upcoming days. Thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.